what's up guys doing a little uh, video review on this product I just got it's a solar powered uh, battery bank I got it on eBay it's a uh, it doesn't have a brand but I'm hoping this thing uh, does what it's supposed to this little cutout here is actually a phone holder so when you're uh, when you got this uh, sitting you just put a you can slide your phone in there if it's thin enough and it holds your phone so you can uh, watch videos and whatnot. A cool thing about this product is, uh, see there's no light there, um, no charging light. There's a green charging light when it senses a sunlight on it. So I'm gonna put it to the window here and you'll see a green light turn on. See the green light? Whenever it detects sunlight, so when I put it away from the light, it'll shut off. See, it's uh, dying off now. And once I go back to the sunlight, it'll uh, it'll show me that it's charging again. See that? It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just leave the leave the device here, um, and I'm gonna let it charge for about half an hour, and I'll come back and see if uh, if it raised any bars. It's at one bar currently. I'm actually going to put this right underneath here just to give it a little angle to get better uh, sunlight. So there we go. It's angled kind of toward the light from the window. It's charging and I'll come back in a uh, half hour and see uh, see how it, well it does, how well it charges. It's not even uh, nice out today really. It's uh, windy and cold and uh, cloudy. And I got a insect screen on my window as well, but I'm going to just see how well it does charging like this and I'll be back. All right. It's been a little over 30 minutes, a little over 31 minutes actually being charged by mother nature. See the green light there. It's been charging this whole time. So I'm going to see how much it charged and it's still at uh, one bar. So it's a pretty big battery. It's 20,000 uh, mAh. So that can charge an iPhone from zero to, to full about like four times. So I'm guessing it needs to be charged quite a bit more like this. So I'm gonna let it keep charging and uh, I'm gonna see how long it actually takes for it to charge. So I'll be back in another 30 minutes. Having a peanut butter sandwich in the meantime um, so let's see what we got for time here it's exactly one hour since uh, I let this charge with sunlight so let me check it still only one bar so I guess this thing uh, really takes a long time to charge um, you probably just want to let it sit on your car's windshield or something Look at this, snowing now. Anyways, back to the review. Um, about three hours now on it. Still only one bar, unbelievable. Also, there's a USB port here for if you wanna charge it by cable. So that's what I'm gonna do next um, since this is uh, taking forever with pure sunlight to charge. Got everything set up here, along with my coffee. It is 6.30 p.m. and I don't really need to be waking up more, but coffee definitely puts me in a better mood. So there's that. Instant coffee, by the way. All right, I took the phone case off of my uh, old phone and I'm gonna demonstrate how this is supposed to work. So when you're uh, you know, checking out your videos or whatever. Um, you can hold your phone, if it's thin enough, right inside that little slot, and it holds it like that. But with my case on my iPhone 11, it's a little too thick. So if I take the case off, it works, but with the case on, it doesn't. I'm recording indoors with my iPhone 11 right now um, because 
The GoPro doesn't really do great indoors. It's awesome outdoors when it's sunny and whatnot. But when it's uh, indoors, the picture comes out really dark. Um, so the iPhone 11 camera is absolutely amazing indoors. I'm using the flash actually right now. And everything looks, you know, everything's super easy to see. I'm recording indoors with my iPhone 11 right now um, because the GoPro doesn't really do great indoors. It's awesome outdoors when it's sunny and whatnot. But when it's uh, indoors, the picture comes out really dark. Um, so the iPhone 11 camera is absolutely amazing indoors. I'm using the flash actually right now and everything looks, you know, Everything's super easy to see. I'm gonna do a little comparison using uh, the GoPro Hero 6 um, while the iPhone is charging. Um, and you'll see what the difference is. Um, I think the GoPro is gonna be way darker, um, but the iPhone is definitely phenomenal with the uh, indoors videos. All right, I got the power bank fully charged. I charged it by cable, um, actually here, charged it by cable because the solar uh, charging took forever. Um, I wasn't gonna wait all day for that. So I got it charged. Um, if I press this button, you have to turn it on before it's a actually able to wirelessly charge. So when you press this button, it shows you uh, how charged it is and it'll be all four bars when I turn it on now because I turn I made sure to charge it all the way um, so it's not gonna charge if you uh, put it like this um, unless you press the button. when you press the button then um, it will charge wirelessly and there's a light here indicating at all times that it's uh, that it's charging so I'll go ahead and turn this on it's on now there's the red light going on and off showing you that it is indeed charging but also on your phone it'll be the little sign there little charging sign if i can get that to focus but yes the phone is charging this is a really cool product um this is incredibly useful if you're uh, going hiking um or if you just need a, a charger in your car. My iPhone is currently at 88% battery. Um, I don't know if you can see that, 88%. Um, so I'm gonna charge it for 10 minutes. I got my uh, other phone here doing a stopwatch. I'm gonna charge it wirelessly for 10 minutes and I'm gonna see how much um, battery goes up. So I'm setting it, starting the timer. Timer's going, we're at 88% currently, and when it's 10 minutes, I'm gonna see how much it charged. All right, here's a timer, right about 10 minutes. Let's see how well the phone charged. It went from 80% to 90%, no, 88% to 90%. We're at 90% now. Um, so in 10 minutes, it did 2%. For the iPhone 11 this is the regular iPhone 11 um, you know it's not a bad charger like if you're stranded somewhere in your car or something or hiking a mountain this is definitely useful you can also use um, to charge it with a USB the iPhone 11 has a 3000 um, battery 3000 milliamp hour battery something like 3000 I think and this this is my old phone this actually has a 4500 milliamp hour battery and it basically lasts all day I don't even have to charge it every day the battery is so good on it this is three years old now and it has ridiculous battery life that's why actually I bought it this is the LG X charge phenomenal uh, phone for battery life but other things like camera quality um, speed you know um, just 
general, pretty much everything else the iPhone is better at. Um, but the battery life on this phone is ridiculous. But yeah, the timer's still going, and uh, at 12 minutes it's at 91%. So 12, so in 12 minutes it did 3%. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and I'll catch you next time.